All right, for this video, we will convert a uh, bond line structure to feature projection. Okay, so the <clears throat> um, the whole what's that, what's that? the bottom line is um, the configuration must not change. Okay, uh, let's uh, figure out the configuration of this guy real quick. So two chiral centers start with this guy. Uh, oxygen number one, carbon with all the carbons. That's number two for two. Oh no, hold on, hold on, my bad, my bad. So carbon with the nitrogen. That's number two. Carbon with all the carbon, number three. Hydrogen at the back, number four. If you do one, two, three, this looks like an R, right? And this carbon right here, so we got nitrogen, that's number one. Uh, we got carbon and carbon. Carbon with oxygen, number two. Carbon with carbon with all hydrogen, number three. And um, hydrogen point toward us, that's, oh, hydrogen point toward us, that's four, right? So we go one, two, three, looks like R. Flip it to S. Okay, so we got R and S. All right, now. Put this into a feature projection, right? And each, this is carbon, this is carbon, and this is, uh, put this carbon right here, this is a uh, map bed. Um, so there are three, basically there are three carbon total. You can put first one at the top, it's up to you, either way it works, okay? So carbon one, two, three, I'm gonna put one, two, and three right here, all right? On carbon one, you got a phenyl group on top of it, put phenyl right there, and um, carbon three is just a metal down here, okay? All right, now, the you have to put an OH on here somewhere, and the other one gonna be the hydrogen. Same thing with carbon number two, nitrogen gonna be one of this on either left or right, and the other one gonna be hydrogen, okay? So, again, the bottom line, the configuration doesn't change. If this R, uh, carbon one is R, you gotta be R here. Carbon two is S, gotta be S here, okay? All right, start with the carbon number one. I don't know where to put it. I'm just gonna guess, all right? I'm just gonna guess. Uh, put an OH on the left side, and you figure. Let's let you determine the the configuration and match them. Okay. So OH is number one. Uh, carbon with nitrogen number two. That nitrogen is somewhere right here. All right. And we got carbon with uh, carbon of the benzene ring number three, and hydrogen number four. One, two, and three looks like S. Flip it to R. So yes, OH is on the left side. Okay, all right, go down to carbon number two. Again, this is S, this guy gonna be S, right? I don't know where, uh, which side would the nitrogen gonna be. I'm gonna just put one of those, just guess there, right? Let's say if we do nitrogen on the right side, and uh, let's uh, determine the configuration. So we got uh, nitrogen number one, uh, carbon with an, o an oxygen number two, carbon with all the hydrogen number three, one, two, and three. Looks like an S, right? Don't don't forget you have to flip it still. You get an R, right? So this is, if nitrogen is on the right side, this is an R configuration. But we need an S. What do we have to do? We have to flip them. Nitrogen and hydrogen switch position. And yeah, that's you're gonna get an S. Yep, that's it. How you do it? Okay. So keep the configuration the same. That's all you do. And the same thing. If you convert it backward, same thing. Keep configuration the same. All right. Uh, there's another way to um, <clears throat> uh, convert the bond light structure to the feature projection do, by looking at it. But I'm not teaching you. You don't need it I, uh, right here. You're not a chemistry major. I'm not teaching you right there. I'm going to skip that. I'll turn it 180 degrees. Look it through right here. So I'm going to turn nitrogen, uh, nitrogen right here to the left side. I'm going to show you. I just want to show you. Right. That's, uh, that's 90, 90 degrees. Go to 180. All right. That's original nitrogen is there. It's a new nitrogen. Uh, got turned it right there, right? What we're we gonna get? Look at the bond line structure. We look from the molecule from the side. Look right here. This is on the side, right? Uh, the nitrogen is gonna be pointing toward you. That's nitrogen. You flip it 180 degrees. You should get nitrogen pointed to the top like that. And OH stay the same, okay? And for the feature projection, feature projection is uh, the uh, we look. At the molecule from the top view. That's a feature protection. If you look right here, phenyl ring gonna be at the top. That's carbon number one, right? Carbon two, carbon three. Carbon three is methyl down here, right? And if you look right here, OS gonna be on the left side, and nitrogen gonna be on the left side. And if you don't get what I say, forget about it. Stay right here. Okay, I know most of you don't get it because it takes some time to like to draw and to go through it. And I just want to show you, you can do it. You rotate the bond, make it look like a T, make it look like a T and then look from the top. Okay, and then just add, in, add on to it. OH on the left side, nitrogen on the left side. If you don't get it, stay with the configuration. R to R, S to S, okay? 
All right, let's uh, let's do some uh, practice together right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, draw all stereoisomers, okay, and uh, identify an enantiomers pair and meso compound. All right, this guy right here, tartaric acid. All right, so they are how how many possible stereoisomers are there? Two chirocenters, so two to the second, so four total. All right, so you can do if you have two scale, look from the top. This is a feature projection. You can do uh, OS right and right. Left and left, left and left. I say it wrong. Left and right, and right and left. Okay. All right. Can you see a meso compound? <clears throat> First of all, these two do they have chiral center? Yes. Do they have plane of symmetry? Yes. So these are the same compound. If I flip it uh, 180 degrees, look exactly the same. These are uh, they are they are identical. So this is just one structure we call meso compound. Okay. All right. So we have down here, that's going to be enantiomer, left and right, and right and left. These are enantiomers. So chiral center, no plane of symmetry. And they are, yes, mirror images, enantiomers. All right. Ah, this one, uh, we have two, three, butane diol. So uh, diol means there are, there are two alcohols, so two all. Right? So we have two alcohol. Um, what we got? There are only three stereo, stereo isomer up to three butane diol. So this guy right here. Uh, which of the following are enantiomers, meso compound or diastereomers? Okay. Meso compound, find the one, number two, totally. Meso compound. There's a plane of symmetry right there. Okay. So meso compound. Uh, one and three, right, left, left and right. So that's, uh, mirror images. Yes. So they are, they are, um, enantiomers. All right, and of course, one and two are not mirror images, so they are diastereomers. And same thing, two and three, not mirror images, so they are diastereomers. All right, all right, class activity number four. So I give you quite a lot of class activities, though, because you got to practice it. Try to look at the molecules in a different perspective. Uh, uh, determine R and S, and it just takes some time, okay? But I give you an, a part of the key, an answer right here, key right here. Um, question three. Oh, that's it. All right. All right. Let's moving on. 